painting process in the furniture factory has two main subdivisions. First, pre-painting, second, final painting. Each one of these sections has its own minor subdivisions. I mean all in all, there are nine minor subdivisions in the painting process. I want to start from the first subdivision named preparing. Before we start the painting on the unfinished wood surface, actually bare wood, we need to take time to preparing. According to an old adage, a paint job is only as good as the preparation that precedes it. The most effective tool in preparing bare wood is sandpaper. There is a definite rule about using sandpaper during the painting process. Sanding is started with the lower number of coarse grits and goes up to higher number fine grits. We usually start with 80 grits and progress up to 120 grits. Then move up to 180 grits for the best finish and then 240 grits before applying finishes. To finish surfaces smoothly, we use extra fine sandpaper with 400 grits. We set the appropriate sandpaper and the tools to prepare the bay wood. However, before that, we use wood filler or putty to fill holes, dents, scratches and gouges. The tool used in this step in order of priority are the angle grinder, orbital sander, a straight drill and hand sanding. This is called a wet painting booth. A circulation pump provides a closed loop water movement. The water flow and create a curtain that absorbs the suspended particle of paint. It prevents dust from sitting on the board. It improves the painting quality. The second subdivision is applying the first layer of primer to wood in this room. A priming paint has a high solid content that fills the grain in the wood, making for a smooth finish. The primer also seals the absorbent bare wood, preventing the painting coats from sinking in immediately. In the side booth, we use another type of primer, I mean sealer. It depends on the final painting. Oh, I entirely forgot. In all nine minor steps, there is a daily production plan that we attach to the board. It shows the customer order number, detail about it, the paint, the last operation who work on it, and the issue date. This operator matches the customer number on the production plan with the number engraved on the frame and applies the desired paint. Finally, we write the due date when the work is done. The third subdivision is padding and sanding. They are integral parts of the painting operation. First with putty, we cover minor imperfections, sand all surfaces and edges lightly to smooth and gray. It is done with 120 grit sandpaper. The fourth subdivision is applying the second layer of primer. It is a very sensitive part of the process. So we repeat this step to have ultra smooth items. The fifth subdivision is again padding and sanding with the difference. This step is done with 180 degrees waterproof sandpaper.
sixth subdivision is DPI or a during production inspection. Actually, a quality control inspection is conducted while production is underway. In this step, we will recheck to confirm that the items are correct. But why do we do checks here? Because if there is an error in the raw furniture, it is easier to solve the problem before painting. After painting, it would waste more time and material. So it is checked before the next level.